Indigenous teachings have been passed down through generations of families and friends. According to the latest data from the Minnesota Department of Health, Native Americans make up just over 1% of the state's total population, ranking in the top 20 of U.S. states for total population. Now there's a push to bring those teachings into the modern-day classroom. Further News Now's Mitchell Zimmerman joins us live from Cloquet this morning, where they'll offer educators ways to apply Indigenous culture into the classroom. Good morning, Mitchell. Good morning, Paul. Such a cool push here that they're going to have here at EdFest here at Fond du Lac Tribal Community College. We are live this morning here in Cloquet at the college, and they're talking all about ways to incorporate Indigenous teachings into everyday curriculum, which is really interesting because according to the Minnesota Department of Education, students do have to learn about Dakota and Anishinaabe um, teachings within their curriculum. So this morning, joining us this morning is Kim Spohr and Sue Tracy with the Fond du Lac Tribal Community College. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you. So tell us a little bit about EdFest. Fest in general. It's your first ever one. What made you guys want to do this? Well, we just launched our first four-year degree program in elementary education, and our teachers go out to the school, or our students go out to the schools, and so we wanted to give back to the host teachers, and then we, as we started thinking about this, it got bigger and bigger, and we thought, why not open it up to the whole education community, because it's, it's such an important topic. Definitely, definitely an important topic for sure, and it's really interesting that you guys are going to have 82 teachers here, a lot of educators here. So tell me, by the end of this day, Sue, tell me a little bit about what educators kind of should be learning. Well, we have to uh, get 125 hours every five years, so I'm hoping they're learning how to incorporate um, Anishinaabe uh, practices into their classrooms to make it smooth and um, just something that they feel comfortable doing. Yeah, definitely. Making sure it's more comfortable. And you talked to me a little bit about the students, about how it's so important that they have this integrated into their curriculum. Kind of explain that to me. Well, I had one of my uh, science method students teach at the school that I taught at, so I was able to watch her and talk with her. And the impact that she made on um, an indigenous student that she had, um, somebody that looked like her and how important that was for her. Yeah, definitely. A really important topic. And it'll be a really great event for sure. And you'll have some a special special speaker. Kind of tell me who that is today. Oh, we're so excited. We have James Vukulich coming in. Um, he's a well-known Anishinaabe linguist and uh, uh, Ojibwe speaker. He does a Facebook word of the day and so he's really really well known in the um, Anishinaabe community and he's published his book and he's going to be kind of launching it here so we're very excited to have him. Yeah super exciting super exciting. Well thank you so much for joining both of me this morning. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in EdFest it is here at Fond du Lac Tribal Community College. It starts at 9 this morning and runs until 4:45 tonight. Of course the keynote speaker is James Vukulich, the author of seven generations and the seven grandfather teachings. Today's event will end with a community feast here at the college. For more information, we'll have this on our website, northernnewsnow.com. But of course, we'll send things back to you there, Paul.